folks, this is Shane and we're at World of Music today. I'm going to go through all the different types of tone capsules that are available for the Roland Blues Cube amplifier. We're also going to compare these tone capsules to the stock sound as well on the clean channel and on the drive channel. So buckle in, take a listen and let me know your thoughts. A huge thanks to World of Music for allowing me to do this demo. I absolutely appreciate it. If you want to find out more about this amplifier or World of Music and you're in Australia, definitely click the links in the description below. Let's get into it. I'm playing my strap to start with on neck and middle position and this is the Blues Cube Artist and we're on the 45 watt setting. So that's the stock sound. Over to the New York Blues Capsule. Over to the Robin Ford capsule. Back to the stock amplifier setting. Over to the Ultimate Blues Capsule. Over to the Eric Johnson one now. Cool. Over to the Dirty channel now and I've got the gain and the volume at 12 o'clock. I've got the master of the amplifier at about 10 o'clock, so it's up quite loud. Let's start without any of the tone capsules. Bridge pickup. <laughs> New York Blues. sounds pretty great. Over to the Robin Ford capsule. Cool man. Back to without a tone chip now. Still sounds great. Over to Ultimate Blues. Over to the Eric Johnson mod now. Why would you 
would you want that? That just doesn't work. It sounds way too woofy and woolly on the lows. You lose all of your high end. The stock amplifier sound to my ear is a whole lot better than that Eric Johnson mod. The rest of them though sound pretty great. I think my favorite one out of these for the drive channel would be the New York Blues. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I absolutely appreciate that. Please let me know which tone capsule you like the best and why in the comments below on both clean and dirty. I was partial to either the amp on its own, I really like the sound of the amplifier, or I like the Ultimate Blues or New York Blues, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The Eric Johnson one I actually really liked on the clean, but I couldn't stand it on the dirty tones. It's just really bassy and woofy. There's no clarity in the sound at all. And this is a really bright Les Paul. So I was really shocked to hear that, but let me know your thoughts as well. If you're a huge Eric Johnson fan, maybe that's his sound. I'm not too familiar with it. Thanks again to World of Music for allowing me to do this shoot out between the tone capsules. I absolutely appreciate it. If you'd like to find out more about either of the tone capsules, the amps or anything within the video, please check out the links I'll post in the description below. Thanks again for watching folks. Don't forget, give the video the thumbs up. I absolutely appreciate that. And I'll catch you all soon. See ya. Thanks again for watching folks. Don't forget, please click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I absolutely appreciate that. We've got almost 60,000 subs at the In The Blues channel. It's an awesome community. Get on board. Cheers.